Hello everyone and welcome to my channel DIYD365. In this video we will talk about how we can manage D365 security roles via Power Apps or a Canvas app. That's the agenda. We all know how difficult it is to even look at security roles assigned to a user. So we'll talk about it more right after the intro. All right, so I have logged into my model driven app and my Canvas apps both. I will show you the app later, but let's look at the problem what we face um, in D365 when we want to have a look at a user security role. This is what you're supposed to do. Um, go to settings, then security, and then you go to a user. You have to either select user and click on manage roles. That's the way where you'll be able to see them like this. It's a bit slow. So you'll be able to see it like this. So you have to scroll through. If you have too many roles, you'll have to keep doing this and that kind of thing. I don't think it is easy. If you do, please let me know. Um, the second way is you can run a user summary report. Now, if I have to look for Kevin again, who is here, I have to look for these dots and then I've actually lost the track of the security role. Okay, I can see it here now. So that, but I do know you have this idea that you can download the report in Excel and freeze the columns. That's again, good but I don't like this idea. This is too cumbersome to be able to just check a user's role. It should be pretty stra straightforward. So now what I've done is I've created a Power App or a Canvas app, which is this. I initially wanted to make a video and call it System Administrator's App for security roles and this and that, but System Administrator or IT Administrator can be a wider term and they might want to use it for other reasons. Hence, I'm creating this video to share how can you manage security roles via a Power App or a Canvas app. Please keep this in mind that you can uh, build, you can put this, why about raise low? So you can insert this Power App or Canvas app within your model driven app as well. So if you're a super, e super user, or you are a system administrator of D365, you might want to consider this. Okay, let's start. So I want to check a user's role. So I just have to click here. It takes me to my user list, my security roles here. So by default, it's for Kevin. Now let's check others. So if I click here, it tells me other roles. So these are all my users on, on your left, what I'm scrolling right now. Um, let me go to my name. So obviously you can sort it all by um, alphabets or whatever sorting preference you have got. You can also put in a search field. I've not done that, but again, this is just an idea and you can search the user as well and it would be much more easier compared to what we sh saw earlier in this video uh, in a model driven app. So if I click on a support user, I can quickly see the security role. Pretty easy, hey. Now, if I want to go back to home, I can click here. Now I'll go back to that screen for a moment and you can see you can actually from here go to CRM settings as in your D365 system settings. So if I click here, it will open that. While it's opening that, you can check out the logged in user and the current time, correct? Now, let's say for Kevin, for Kevin, I don't want him to be a field service administrator. All I need to do is just click here and it will remove that role from him. Right, so that role has been removed. I'm not sure what this button does here, really. Yeah, so I've just kept it. Um, there, but it doesn't do anything. So, but the cross removes the role from Kevin's uh, user. Now, I will go back to home 
and look at other things. So I can also click here as an IT admin and just go to MS Flows. So I'll do that while they're opening. So that's Microsoft Flows. You can go there. Um, you have to be logged in. And that's your system settings, right? So the settings button you get, I'll get it to you. Not here, not here. So the settings button I'm talking about, let me just go here. It's called advanced settings. So that's the button I provided here, this, and then here you've got Microsoft Flows. We have quickly checked a user's role and how easy it was. So the next one is assign a role, which is this button here. So if I click on it, I see a drop down or this is this can be a combo box or a drop down both so i can select a role here and as soon as i select the role it shows me uh, the users who have already got that role and then i can select a new user whom i want that role uh, to assign that role to so select kevin and i can assign role to that user and while it's gray that means it's doing the operation and once it's blue, that means it's been assigned. So if I now go back to home and check Kevin's role, I'll see the admin role assigned. Now this button here, it's uh, a demo button. What it does is it sends out a notification, push notification to Power Apps users, whatever I've specified in the formula. So let's go back home and check Kevin's role. So they've got field service admin now going back to home now the last one is check and assign role both so basically combine these two um, I can click here so you can see Kevin's role here and Kevin is selected by default and that's the role selected what we'll do is go to my user okay I know that I'm scrolling too much but as I said before, you can have a search box here or sorting here. I have not done that, but you know, it's pretty much available out of the box when you create these galleries of forms. So that's my user, click on it. I've got too many roles. What I'm going to do is probably get, let me see if there's a forms pro role. Okay, let me just do activity feeds and I'll click the button to assign that role and it refreshes itself. Now if I click on Trishant again, I will be able to see activity feeds. So that's that. Now going back to home. Now let's take a look at how I built the app. So I'll go to my Power Apps and go to home screen. So the first button you see here so this is just navigate, this is navigate as well, and that too. This one has got a launch formula where I have specified um, a website of flow.microsoft.com. So that's how you do that. So on select of it, specify this formula and put in any website's address and on clicking this button, it will open it. So that's my first screen in the background. I have put an image, so that's that. Screen number two is where I've got users on the left and on the right, I've got security roles. So if I click here, it is just selecting the parent while here, this gallery is filtered gallery of security roles. You can see gallery user list two, which is this gallery here and whatever is selected there, I need to show security roles of them with the help of this relationship, what you see here. So that's how it was filtered. Now, this is the home button, so it takes you to the home screen in settings. I've again got the launch formula and that URL I've taken from this tab. Okay, um, and then I've got a logged in user and there and the current time okay so that is screen two and then we have got this one which is i think this one is assigning and checking security role both so on the left you've got users on 
uh, in the middle you have got security roles and here you select a security role to assign to the selected user here so this one is select parent then I've got a filtered gallery of security roles again and now if you look at this button I have used this relate formula so this relate formula I have explained in episode 5 where I'm talking about easy hacks and I've explained relate and unrelate formulas that's how I've used this at the end I'm resetting um, the security role subgrid or gallery so that's how that works and then I've got this sorry I've got this drop down here so um, where it's showing items security roles now let me just go here this one is where you select one security role one user and it then assigns it to the user so that's that one now quickly looking at unrelate so this cross here is the unrelate function the exact opposite of how we were assigning a security role this one is unassigning it or taking it out of a user so i just say unrelate and use the same formula and reset the gallery so that is that well if you like this video um do like my video if you have any ideas how i can do it better or you have uh, already done it do comment in the video um, thank you so much for watching have a great day